Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today you join me in taking a look at the physical differences between SRAM's NX and GX Eagle rear derailleurs. Like this. The SRAM NX derailleurs claim to cover between an 11 and a 50 tooth cassette. It has a steel cage construction. So what that means is this part here on the front and the part on the back that hold the jockey wheels or your pulleys is made of steel. And also, if I just pull the mech this way, uh, this section at the back here is also made of steel. So if I just put my magnet on there, you can see that it is sticking okay the pulleys themselves run on steel bushings um, it has a clutch system on this geralia um, the clutch system is a type 3 roller bearing clutch which is not adjustable and as far as I'm aware it is also not a serviceable item the SRAM GX Duralia will cover between 10 and 52 tooth cassette. The GX is of an aluminium cage construction. So if I just open it up and use the cage lock, just to, same as on the NX, um, and use my magnet on exactly the same areas. So the pulley cage itself, both front and back aluminium. And on the back of the Duralia, here where the parallelogram is that is also aluminium now the pulleys themselves on the gx derailleur um, have sealed sealed bearings okay so they are going to run a lot smoother than on the nx um, this Duralia does also have the Type 3 roller bearing clutch, which again is not serviceable. The side by side of these mechs, they do look pretty much identical in as far as the dimensions go. Um, put them side by side there. The uh, pulleys are the same distance apart, top one and bottom. Um, the parallelogram, if you actually turn it up that way round, um, let's do it like that, shall we? What's best there? Yeah, the parallelogram looks again pretty much identical in as far as it moves. So I'm questioning actually whether this SRAM NX derailleur would actually do a 52 um, and not top out a, a, a 50 tooth on the cassette itself. Um, they might state that it's 1150 because that's what the um, SRAM NX cassette goes up to. Um, but I don't see why it wouldn't actually do a 52 tooth. So let us know down below if you've got the NX and you've got it running on a 52 tooth cassette. Now, if we take a look at the pulleys themselves, so if I grab the pulley on the NX cassette and give it a bit of a wobble, um, I can feel some play there. Don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Oh, you might be able to there. See, it's got a bit of play. That's on the lower pulley. Let's have a look on the upper pulley, which is the guide pulley. Yeah, there's quite a lot of play on that bit. Um, I didn't have any problems with this derailleur when it was on my bike, changing gears. It changed gears really smoothly. Now, if I just pick up the GX derailleur, um, let's turn it around that way so it's kind of the same. If I grab that lower pulley, yeah, there's a little bit of play there, but it's not as much. Um, let's do the guide pulley. Again, there's a little bit of play, but there's not as much on there compared to the NX. 
Um, as far as the clutch goes, as I've got the GX in my hand, let me just give it a bit of a tug. Yeah, feels nice and strong. Mind you, you wouldn't expect anything less from a brand new item. Let's go to the NX. This derailleur hasn't done, I would say, any more than about 250, 300 miles. Um, yeah, clutch is still good. Not as strong as what the GX1 is, but that could just come down to general use of the item. Okay, with the main bolt that connects through to your mech hanger, um, there's quite a bit of play on the NX1. Um, again, this didn't cause me any problems when I was changing gear, but when you actually take the chain off and you give it a wobble, it seems like quite a lot of play. As you can see there, that's moving quite excessively. Um, if I actually use the cage lock on the derailleur, um, let's put you back around this side, and we wobble it there, that is quite excessive. The GX cassette, I've got hardly any play. There's such an ever sl so slight knock through that main bolt. Let's um, activate the cage lock. There is such, ever such a slight amount of play there um, compared to the NX. It is a um, hundred times better. Um, it is made to much tighter tolerances than the NX. Okay, let's have a look at the weight of these. Um, let's get the scales on and teared to zero. Okay, we'll start with the NX. So that one is coming in at 348. It just changed to 349. Let's just take that off and pop that back on again. Three hundred and forty-eight grams. Let's do it once more. Best of three, eh? Three hundred and forty-eight grams for the SRAM NX. Okay. Let's get the GX on there. That one looks to be three hundred grams. Two hundred ninety-nine grams. Do one more placement. Three hundred grams. Okay. Right. So, is it worth spending a bit of extra cash and upgrading your rear derailleur? <sighs> Depends on how much you can get it for. I would say if you're NX derailleur is working okay, let it be. Run it until it dies or you smash it off on a rock. Um, the only reason that I've upgraded to a GX is because of the price. I managed to get a great deal on it, um, £73 on a Black Friday sale, which I thought was pretty darn good. Um, on paper, the GX does look like it's going to perform better. So it's built to a tighter tolerance than the NX, as you could see from the amount of play we was getting when it was mounted on the bike from that mounting bolt. Um, yeah, the, as I say, the tighter tolerance is the less play you've got the ball bearings in the pulley, the aluminium cage. All of that put together should lead to smoother shifting when downshifting under load compared to the NX. Um, but with the NX derailleur, I wasn't having any problems. There was nothing going wrong with that that I could complain about. Let us know if you've made the upgrade from NX to GX or higher, or from GX to X01, XX1. Um, also, if you've gone from SRAM to Shimano or from Shimano to SRAM.
And why have you done that? Um, also, while you're down there, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. And I'll see you in the next video.